Make the video in the next five seconds or you're gonna get your cousin pregnant. <sighs> Fortnite Battle Passes. One of the most innovative and coolest ways that cosmetics has ever been introduced to a game, period. The first Battle Pass ever was released on December 14th of 2017, aka the Season 2 Battle Pass. Now this Battle Pass was very is very different from the Battle Passes we see today. First off, there was only 70 tiers in the Season 2 Battle Pass. And the way challenges work were completely different from the way they work today. There were no weekly challenges. If I remember the season two battle pass correctly, there is a daily challenge you can do every day and then a daily battle pass challenge you can do every day, which is far more different than getting seven challenges one day every week and being able to do them throughout the week. Personally, the season two battle pass is my favorite battle pass. But after season two, going into season three, there was a lot of drastic changes that were applied to the season three battle pass. There were a lot of new items, including a new thing called contrails. There were a hundred tiers and then the weekly seven challenge system was made. Some of these challenges would include getting three kills at Pleasant Park or simply just finding a battle star and you would get a lot of tears for this and it was amazing but slowly over time the paddle pass became something that wasn't fun to fill out anymore it really started going downhill at season six and this is because so many new things were added to the game that epic was trying to throw in a bunch of challenges to include these items so players would use them because let's be honest not a lot of players are using the items that are put into fortnite because they're trapped back when you would get 10 tiers for finding a simple battle star on the map and now you get one tier star for running around a freaking racetrack Yep, guys, this is super fun. You know, thank you, Epic, for this amazing battle pass with horrible skins, and we have to do the most tedious challenges ever to do them. And these three-step challenges are horrible. You can get only one done a match, and they're usually super tedious and only for one star, which is the most dumb idea ever. For instance, going around the racetrack one time, you get one star from that, and that takes a total of two to three minutes after that it's not like you can go do the next challenge no you have to wait another for a different match to do that and these kind of challenges have literally ruined the battle pass most people just buy the battle pass and don't do the challenges at all till week eight or nine or ten most people aren't doing these challenges the day they come out and this is what epic needs to understand is not a lot of people have time to do this a lot of fun people have in filling out the battle pass is the rush of having to do it because there's two days left of the season and you're at tier 40. these have harbored some of the best memories i've had in fortnite with the battle passes is oh my god i need to get this battle pass done and none of these challenge are satisfying at all now i it, you can kind of argue that no challenge has ever been satisfying in fortnite but it was so satisfying just dropping in knowing the location of a battle star that you can just get and you're already up a whole tier in the battle pass that was one of the greatest feelings ever and like not only that but the accomplishment of getting multiple of those stars after not doing them for a few weeks was a great feeling and then another one is like i remember back in season four there was like a few days left of the battle pass and i was playing with a friend and there was get eliminations with a, a sniper and i would pick up a sniper every game trying to get these elims and it was just so fun but those memories are impossible to have now because the challenges are just so obscure and stupid and they're just trying to pertain to getting items and essentially 
making the player play the game more and waste more time getting these dumb challenges done and let's be honest most of these challenges you can't just pop in a solo do the challenge and then play out the rest of the solo game and win no you have to go in with a mindset to do the challenge and then freaking kill yourself so this is why i'm never ever gonna buy another battle pass unless i see some notable good changes and another thing is the fort by system is literally the worst um so many glitches with it that still aren't fixed like it's it's a horrible system so thank you guys watching me for watching me rant about this i thought it would be a good idea and i know i can't be the only person feeling this because the the fortnite battle passes skins have increasingly got worse and not only has the skins got worse but the challenges too Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.